I'm taking the long way today because I wanted to talk to you about what's happening in the world and how none of it can be trustworthy. I don't know how this video is going to come off, but I have to tell you that there is so many moving parts right now. There are so many things that are happening politically, geopolitically, locally, nationally. These moving parts are all, they're, they're like wrecking balls that are going to eventually find something to hit. Whether it's positive or negative, you know, whether you wear the blue tie or you wear the, the red tie, it doesn't matter because they're going to collide. And when they do, there could be a fight like we've never seen before. I think it's important for us to remember that we need to be prepared for that. In fact, psychologically, that is what we are preparing for in our brains. We know this is going to happen. But we can't just come out and say it because if we do, then we sound like tinfoil hat, nut bags. And we've got to a point where we don't know exactly what to do other than prepare. You know, some part of us wants to, you know, rise up in arms or opposition or whatever you want to call it. You know, some people talk of civil war. Some people talk of revolution. You know, um, but... These aren't just dangerous terms for YouTube. These are dangerous terms for the world. The destabilization of our country is in full effect. And if we don't get it under control, our neighbors might think that it's a good time to take advantage. And of course, none of us want that. You know, I mean... I don't. Uh, I don't know that I like borscht or, or whatever they, whatever it is they eat over there in the uh, the red flag gold star country. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. But what I can tell you is that I like my hamburgers. I like my hot dogs. I like my apple pie because these things are distinctively American and. They should be things that we're willing to fight for. And there's going to come a time when we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to do that exactly. And the only question left to ask is, are you prepared? Are you prepared mentally, morally, spiritually? And if you're not, as a good friend of mine in the infantry used to say, Maybe it's time for you to get right with Jesus. And I'm not religious, and I'm not going to be. But you should be able to use that simple catchphrase to realize that there's going to be a time for loving and living, and there's going to be a time for fighting. And that could very well be coming sooner than we think it is. I'm going to try and start making these videos more focused on skills. How I'm going to do that, I don't actually know. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the um, the suture thing. Uh, I've got the kit. I'm going to make the video today, uh, and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to start talking more about uh, how to uh, not generically prepare, but specifically prepare for what may or may not be coming down the pike. Okay, I think that's going to be about it for right now. Oh, yeah, guys, listen, if you have not contributed to the, uh, or should I say donated to the uh, uh, the Catitude family, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description. It'll just say donate here. Go there, look at it, read the story. He's doing better. He's already had his surgery, and they say he's going to make a, a good recovery. Um, so right now, things the time for him being laid up is now. And so we need to make sure that this family is taken care of. Please, just a few dollars here and there. It's not going to hurt anything. 
I can tell you it's the cost of a Starbucks coffee, but that doesn't seem to be working for anything these days. Take a look at it. I appreciate you. Stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.